So, here at KingCast.net, uh, I missed about 460 hits on this video this morning because I made the mistake of using Pink Floyd, uh, Best Days of Our Lives, as the soundtrack. Well, um, turns out that the album about oppression from the man uh, basically oppressed me from using it in the video, even though it's not for profit. Mm -hmm. Way to go, guys. Here at KingCast.net, that's New York City's Carlos Pena. This is a man who had to be ordered to pay child support for his child, yet who somehow got custody of that child, even though the uh, forensic psychologist in the court case determined that the mother, Sandy Chady, should retain custody, okay? Now, this guy uh, appears uh, at the 72nd Precinct there. I asked him a couple of questions, and he appeared with that strange woman there who's chain-smoking in the uh, immediate area of his child. Anyway, uh, he eventually gets an order from the court telling me to remove information about him from my journal page. I'm not doing any of that. Not to mention the fact that he filed a bogus... Were you arrested last week here for uh, interfering with the uh, officer on service? Sir? We're still investigating exactly what this woman's role is, but Carlos Pena's mother sent her along for the ride this week after he was allegedly arrested last week at the 72nd Precinct. So his I don't mother know asked him to take a ride with him? Yeah, yeah, his mother said that he couldn't come here alone. I don't know. Okay, folks, it gets worse. That's Rita Kaufman right there. Okay, now the mother, Sandy Chady, she filed a federal complaint against uh, Rita Kaufman and the judge, Deborah Silber, because they basically colluded with the mother of uh, the grandmother, the paternal grandmother, to take this child away with no reason, you know, in, in defiance of the uh, court appointed forensic psychologist, okay, who recommended the child stay with the mother for various reasons. And so uh, the court threw it out. And then the Court of Appeals and Federal Court threw it out as well. Uh, she had filed their former pauperous, and they said, oh, there's absolutely no merit here to any of this. But the problem is the court never even addressed uh, the law guardian's role in any of it. Just threw the whole case out. I read the complaint. It's unbelievable. Now watch how they treat the mother as if she were the one who flipped out last week and got violent with the police. It's out of control. Hey, miss. Miss, you gonna be served papers? Really, officer? What was she gonna flee on foot, wearing knees? Come on. Why is there so much focus on her and not on him? It doesn't make any sense. This is the guy who didn't pay his bills. This is the guy who was arrested last week. But everything she does is magnified. Everything he does is like he's Teflon Don. Why is that? He was late for for coming for this the. This is. You see this? This is for you to show yeah, I have no problem with, okay. with accepting service. I okay. served him with papers last right, week, fine. and he assaulted a few police officers, and he was right. arrested here. Wh whatever just happened, on then, September the happened then, happened then. Yeah, okay, officer. So whatever happened on that public street happened then. But what's going to happen now, as I told attorney Mytech, is that if any of this is coming off my journal page, there's going to be an evidentiary hearing. We're going to address what the compelling governmental interest is at stake here. We're going to see if the remedy is narrowly tailored and whether or not it is the least restrictive means to accomplish the purported compelling governmental interest, okay? When I was a state attorney, that's how we handled things. When I was a private attorney, that's how we handled things, okay? So.